Let me see. I said this in the episode where I talk about thumbnails and stuff. From this point on, I watch Grand Line Review. I fully agree with them. I never thought about it that way. That people would still see the video but not click on it and get spoilers. So from this point on, for manga and um, for manga thumbnails for just the first re action and a little bit of a review and then the full review, I won't be using two I won't be using, if I use any pictures from inside the manga, it'll be from side characters or not major events or anything. No major reviews. And same thing with title. Be keeping more flat off titles. One Piece, chapter 977. The party's off, so it's not... The party doesn't start now. It's just the party's off. Oh, I'm. Uh, we worry about you. Like I said, I usually go through and do a read through and see if anything is off. Full use of the ship of dreams that feels so much more like Frankie. Time to plan. Then. Uh, rear gate on the Gashima. It's so really great. So I think the only big part about last manga chapter, the review I did on Friday, was I used the Kaido imagery with him saying about his son appearing. That's the only thing that I should have not in, in, uh, put in. But the other ones are fine because they're side images. Well, what kind of plan we put together? Two idiots in front. Yeah, that would be Kid and, Kid and Luffy. I'm more than certain I use the... Actually, give me a second. We're on page 8 to 9. I'm going to quickly... Check my thumbnail. Because I remember parts of it. Just because I make so much daily. Depending on how many videos. I've been keeping to 1 to 2 videos a day. If I don't have a plan for that day. It's mostly been games. Uh, where's 977? Yeah, so the only thing there would have been I took out the sun. Uh, him talking about his son. Because that was still a bigger moment. Otherwise, everything else seemed alright with that. So, I've been trying to lay off it slowly, but I think from this point on, I'll try to fully do it. The only reason I would put it, uh, the title of something else is if it, I get very emotional on that. You went too fast? No. Cause well, I had been moving at speed the entire fight. So the bullshit thing is I killed the other eye. Huh. <sighs> Skeletron, mm -hmm. I teleported. He's playing Terraria. Yeah. Uh, curses! I didn't warn them about the guards at Tory Gate. I wonder if we'll get a summary of what that skull is from on Onigashima. Who it's from? Uh, same battle. Even 
and Frankie out there, and then you have Chopper, Usopp, Nami, and Carrot there. Carrot is not in the picture. I'm pretty sure Carrot wasn't here fighting. Uh. Hey, Masev, where do you find that? I told you, these guys were drinking over here. What kind of sense of smell do you have? See, that's pretty good. That's a better. <sighs> Forget. Let's do this, do it with them. The party, the toast, everything. Once we beat Kaido, I mean. And Orochi and Big Mom and everyone. Let's win this fight and then we'll have the biggest and best party yet. You're on! But the booze will taste even better. Better than ever. Yeah, if you can win the fight. Move it small fry. We're not letting anyone else take Kaido's head. In that right killer. I cough the head and put it on the ship's prowl. See, people were saying who would kill Kaido. I think it would be Kid, if anything. I don't think Luffy would be the one to kill him. I think Luffy would knock him out like every other villain he's gotten up to this point. None of them have been killed. That's not Luffy's motto. It's going to be Kid who kills Kaido, if anything. Or he'll be lying there on the ground and Kid still can't do anything to him. We're gonna pay for turning killer all cheery. Uh, damn it, Jaggy. Can you get the ship there first? Uh, once you know to hold a barrel in your hands. Uh, we don't have enough. Big Mom wants playing too. Then get cooking, you idiot. Hey, where is he, sir? Where is my son? He should be making an appearance. It's a feast. I'll look for him. That's the guy, though. Our six of the Toby Ropo ha are present. Toby Ropo, um, are definitely. Uh, fuck me. Toby Ropo is. Such a barren name because I actually have heard that before. I believe it's it's not. I thought it was the when I heard the fight. I I'm an idiot. I said maybe CP zero was there and we would have the people. No, that's the six flying headliners. I just couldn't think. So that'd be X Drake, Page One, and then the other four we have not seen yet. <sighs> I want to see Page One go up against Sanji, and Sanji just wipe the floor with him again. But if anything, it'd probably be Zoro or Brook that goes up against him, and Sanji will go up against Queen. But I don't think it. I think for battles, it's not gonna be a one-on-one -on -one fight. From if you count. Charlotte smoothie in there and if they have um not smelter what was what was the fourth commander in uh, Big Mom's army um I think he's with them if you count Charlotte Queen King Jack um Kaido and Queen I don't think there will be ever a 1v1 against any of them Maybe Orochi, because Orochi is not that powerful. I think Denjiro probably will take him out. I don't believe we'll get one-on-one. -on -one. I think Luffy might jump at the attack, or Joro might run in. But I'm really thinking, for Oro to represent how powerful the... The... <laughs> the... The Emperors of the Sea and their generals are, they will definitely have to show off dual attacks from the Alliance against certain commanders. Like, even King and Queen, I have very doubts. Even if I put King and it would be 
if it, anybody against King, Zoro might have a chance because it's a, a Zoro might have a chance solo, but he still hasn't fully gotten the control of the blade yet that Odin had, and I don't believe he can do it one on one with King. I don't think Sanji could do a one on one with King or Queen. Same thing with Zoro. I don't think he could do one on one King or Queen. I think both of them could do a 1v1 with Jack, though. But if anybody is to take down Jack, it'd probably be Ina, Inarashi and Nekomamushi because they have the most to gain for uh, taking them out. Taking him out. Um, yeah, so this is the six flying headliners. What? Remember how you're asking what if John Tron made any videos recently? Yeah, I saw it. I didn't watch it yet. Uh, gifters, others. Yeah, so it has to be the six flying headliners, which makes more, more of an effect. Yeah, Toba Ropi. I, that, that confused the hell of me in the fan translation, but yeah, it's those six flying headliners. Uh, next chapter, oh, it looks like next chapter is on break because, actually, yeah, next chapter is on break, so... Fan translation, uh, fan translation didn't have it, so we're on break this week. Uh, because next chapter hits April 26th, so next week you guys will have some theories of my own that I want to talk about. Of end of series uh, type of stuff. Um, it would be cool to see all six headliners and see uh, what they are. Of who they are in that. The only problem is. If I look at power increases that we've seen through the two. After the two year time skip. We've seen Frankie increase with his mechanical progress. With all his stuff on the sunny. We've seen Usopp gain observation hockey. We've seen Nami gain Zeus. Um, and the new rod she uses. Um, the new staff she uses. Um, we haven't really seen Chopper do anything other than control his point. So, it'd be great to see if he has another power-up under his sleeve. Like, if there's a tenth form of the transformation that's even more deadly. Because Luffy has the gear fourth and it is a very, um... But since he's been using Gear Fourth more and more, he's been that time limit of ten minutes. I think it's gone down at this point. It's no longer ten minutes. He has to wait for hockey to come back. I think it's, he's been training so much with it and do, using it so much that ten minutes probably have gone down. Uh, Zoro, we haven't really seen too major of a skill. Um, he's cut stuff. He's cut stone boats. He's cut through. Uh, what was that? guy Pika's armor net but I wouldn't count him as one of the best there uh Sanji has got the raid suit which is probably a major upgrade that's why I keep saying uh Sanji might be equal or more powerful than Zoro right now because we haven't seen a major Zoro uh power increase Jinbei is just powerful as is because he was uh he was a warlord of the sea and he's probably been training over the two years anyways. And we've seen him go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Big Mom with no fear. So, Robin. We've seen actually a pretty major upgrade from what she was doing before time skip to now with her uh, with her Devil Fruit. Brook, his soul form in that he's gotten really good with it and using it. But also putting people to sleep and just using the fruit. 
of his freezing sword. Um, yeah, I think Chopper, 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 and Zero is those two are the most, the most highly into. Uh, those are the two I most, I most want to see within battles, within this arc. More than Luffy and them, just because even Luffy, Luffy has been training um, with new advanced version of armor and hockey so that would be cool to see but i more want to see zero's improvement because we haven't really seen too much of it he's cutting like i said he's cutting pika apart and that's just stone and wood it's if he can go against a real opponent and see his power level gap i could then place him on a scale right now i have them luffy jimbei and then sanji Sanji is a tiny bit higher, or if not equal, to Zoro at this point. And Zoro's are probably always going to be probably the third strongest from this point on. Um, if not the same as San Sanji. So, tied third place with him. Um, but yeah, Chopper's not one that we haven't really seen a major power increase. If he had a major power increase that he's learned more... Well, he's been able to control all forms without the ball, the after the time two year time skip, and that's cool. And then he can also use control for what seven, ten minutes, seven to ten minutes, I think five to seven minutes, it's something like that. His giant form, but that's pretty much it. But when it comes to that, I still think he needs another power increase or type some type of new skill. So I do want to see what they he probably has picking up we haven't seen him train so but he has been working on more medicine and stuff throughout the series like helping heal people of Wano so I do want to know um how how uh How um they will how they will scale from this point on. Otherwise, that is my full review of the chapter. I just talked a lot about the fights, but really, um now knowing it's just the six headliners and not CP zero is probably one of the best things ever because CP zero if they, they did show up to help Kaido, then we know the Marines or a division of the Marines is helping the emperors of the sea which then puts reliance on maybe the marines being even worse than they already are Otherwise, um, let's give this, I give this a 9 out of 10. I think it still should stick at a 9 out of 10. It's a really good chapter. There's a lot to it. Um, a lot more better adjusted to the Viz translation, the official translation. Otherwise, uh, thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys like the video, like it. If you guys haven't subscribed to the channel, I recommend subscribing to the channel to keep up with our content. Otherwise, this has been Miss Crazy again. Signing off. Have a good morning. Have a good afternoon. Have a good night. Wherever you are, just have a good day. Hopefully, I see you guys again. See you guys in the next video, and peace.